today i am going to give you a lesson from your science book our food eat sources our food our food eat sources Before entering into the chapter, I want to give you some example of food. The sapatis, rice, the fruits, the vegetables, all are our food. When we feel hungry, we eat food. Now, what is the definition of food? What is the definition of food? Food are the components living thing take in from outside to get nourishment. Foods are the Outside substances take in by living thing, living things to get. Nourishment. Foods are carbon based compound. Now what is given in your book? Let us see. Food eaten at one time is called a meal. We may take several food items in a meal depending upon our liking of taste and flavor and food culture of a definite reason. Now the world is very big. The people of different region take different food according to the availability of that reason and people also take different kind of food according to their taste function of food now you go through the lesson the functions of the food are given uh, point to us very nicely you can learn from your book also i am not going to write it down on whiteboard food makes our body grow Food gives us energy to perform various functions of our body to sustain life. Food gives us energy to perform various functions of our body to sustain life. If the living body do not get energy, then it will feel weak and it will not be able to work uh, nicely. So that time the life may be in stress so regular taking of food is important right kind of food protects our body from diseases and fight against the germs germs means the bacteria the virus other kind of uh, microorganisms which after uh, invading in our body it grows and make us disease so right kind of food right kind of food means the food which has which has medicinal value it can protect our body from getting ill and it gives the energy to the body to fight against the germ cell food keeps our body warm the food get burns inside the body and as a result in the chemical reaction takes place in our body liberate 
energy, water and uh, carbon dioxide and as well as temper heat. So that heat warms our body. Food produces new cells in the body to repair the worn out or injured parts. The cell go on cell division. One cell divides into two. Suppose this is a cell when it gets matured, it divides into two. This way, these are, these are the daughter cell, this is the mother cell. So, cell divides to repair the worn out region or injured parts of the body. For cell division, it is important to get nourishment by the cell. To get maturity, it needs energy. And that energy is produced by food in our body and that energy utilized by the cell. Varieties of food eaten. We eat different types of food at different times. During a day, we take breakfast consisting of bread, slices, butter, omelette, corn flour, milk, etc. Our lunch consists of sapatis, dal, curry, rice, sambar, pickles, salad, etc. At night, in dinner, we take sapatis, dal, rice, curry, etc. Do it is written as at night in dinner. Actually, it should be at night in supper. Dinner means a party in the evening that gives us lunch, food. But supper means the last time in the night we took food. We take sapatis, dal, rice, curry, etc. People living in different parts of our country eat different types of food. Different types of food are eaten in different seasons. There are a lot of varieties of food eaten by us. In this two point, it is this, uh, it is told that different types of food are taken by different people living in different regions. Because in different regions in India, different types of crops are yield. And according to the availability in different regions, People takes different kind of food. In different season, different crops are being yield. So, yet in different seasons, we take different kind of foods. Like in the summer, we take uh, mangoes, jackfruits, etc. In the winter, we take more apples huh, and uh, oranges, etc. Ingredients of foods. A food may have two or more than two materials added to it before or during cooking. Such materials are called such materials are called ingredients. Common ingredients of food are water, salt, sugar, spices, milk, vegetables, fruits, eggs, chickens, fish, curry, leaves, cooking oil, ghee, butter, etc. These are called ingredients of food what are the sources of food ingredients food ingredients like fruits vegetables and grains come from plants food ingredients like milk fish meat chicken butter ghee etc come from domestic animals milk and milk products like cheese curd butter etc are used all over the world sources of food Food is any substance that can be eaten or drunk by an animal or human for nutrition or pleasure. As I told in the at the beginning of my class, what is the definition of food? You can write this sentence also given in your book. Food is any substance that can be eaten or drunk by an animal or human for nutrition or pleasure. Items considered food may be sourced from plants, animals or other categories. All living organisms derive their nutrition from the following sources, plants and animals. That means we get food, we get food from, either from, we get 
or collect food either from either from plants number b from animals plants we know that green plants can prepare their own food so green plants are called autotroph men and other living being cannot make food on their own so they depend on plants for their food directly or indirectly different parts of plants are useful for us as food plants store food in their roots stem leaves fruits seeds and even flowers we have learned to use almost every part of these plants as food roots parts of the plant which is hidden inside the earth constitute its roots they also take up water and food nutrients from the soil the food is stored in some roots these roots are the sources of food for us carrot turnip and radish are the example of these roots here is are the pictures given in your, in your book these are all nothing but roots it grow under the soil stems stem of a plant is the link between its roots and the leaves and flowers it transfers water and minerals from the roots to the leaves flowers and fruits it also transfer food from uh, the leaves to roots some stems store food material and take different shape they are named variously such as onion bulb ginger rhizome potato tuber etc these stems are used as source of food these are the example of food that are modified stem leaves leaves synthesize food by the process of photosynthesis these are the main source of transpiration that is loss of water and help in exchange of gases for respiration some leaves are eaten by us some of them are spinach tea lettuce etc these leaves are sources of food to us these are the example flowers flower is the reproductive part of the plant it develops from floral buds now you got two term here one is photosynthesis and the other is transpiration you must recall what is photosynthesis photosynthesis all green plants all green plants prepare their own food sugar or glucose all green plants prepare their own food that is sugar or glucose during day time day time with the help of with the help of chlorophyll and chlorophyll water and carbon dioxide all green plants prepare their own food sugar or glucose during day time with the help of chlorophyll water and carbon dioxide and it takes place it takes place in 
green plants of the plants that means in leaves and the stem which is contain chlorophyll this process is known as photosynthesis this process is called photosynthesis in this process what happen water plus carbon dioxide inside the leaf react during day time in presence of here some day time means sunlight in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and produce glucose means sugar plus carbon dioxide this process is called photosynthesis in this process water and carbon dioxide is collected by the plants and during day time inside the leaf or green parts of the plants which contain chlorophyll hmm held a reaction and glucose or sugar is prepared and carbon dioxide is produced this carbon dioxide is released by the plant outside the plant body to the atmosphere and through the pores present on the leaf blade the carbon dioxide gas goes outside and oxygen enters and through these pores the excess amount of water absorbed by the plant also evaporated out this process uh, is called transpiration that means what is transpiration release of excess water absorbed by the plants in the form of water vapor through the pores present on the leaf surface is called transpiration fruits fruits are one of the important sources of food for us they are commonly eaten raw mineral and sugar sugar that is carbohydrate some popular fruits are banana apple mango orange guava peach grapes pear etc some fruits are eaten raw as salads or as vegetables after cooking brinjal tomato bitter gourd bottle gourd kusumbar etc are example of such fruits we obtain a few spices from the fruits or plants red chilies black pepper coriander etc are example of such fruit spices these are the pictures given in your book you can see seeds a seed has a baby plant in it and food for the new plants these are the result of reproduction the they grow into new plants cereals pulses and oil seeds are all seeds cereals are rich source of starch their flour is used for making loaves chapatis and bread for example rice wheat barley corn maize millet oats cereals are the staple food of people of different region pulses are rich in protein they also have some starch we cook food as curries with some sprouted pulses as raw for example grams chana green grams moong black grams orar pea beans pigeon pea arahar etc animals animals are also a prime source of food we obtain different food items from different animals milk eggs meat honey etc are some food item we get from animals however the number of food providing animals is less in comparison to the number of food producing plants but the food items obtained from animal contain some useful nutrients for example milk eggs meat honey oil seafood etc
types of animals some animal graze grass or eat leaves these are called grass eating animals some animals eat flesh of animals dead or after killing them this means dead animals do not make their own food they depend on other sources for food so they are known as heterotrophs hetero means different on other trough means organism the animals which depends for food on other plants or animals are called heterotrophs they are also called consumers of food prepared by plant so plants are called producer because plants can make their own food so plants all green plants are called producer and the animals are called the heterotrophs they cannot make their own food now herbivores the animals who eat only plants are called herbivores they lives on herbs herbs means plants or grass they have sharp cutting teeth in front and flat grinding teeth at the back goat cow deer and rabbit are example of herbivores carnivores the animals who eat flesh of other animals are called flesh eating animals or carnivores the animals who is lives on other animals flesh are called carnivores such animals kill their prey and eat the flesh of the dead animals the animal that kills other animal is called predator the animals that kills other animal is called predator those animals are very active fast runners and powerful some kill their some kill their prey at night when it is inactive or sleeping predators have sharp teeth to tear the flesh and to grind bones like lion tiger leopard wolf snake cat eagle kingfisher are example of carnivores they are called predator omnivores the animals who eat both plants and flesh are called omnivores they have several different kinds of teeth for cutting tearing crushing and grinding the food that means omnivores takes both grass plants and the flesh for example human being other types of animals there are many other animals that do not follow the above food habits such as animals that feed or eat flesh of dead and decaying animals body are called scavengers they keep the surrounding clean scavengers are crow vulture hyena jackal etc animals that feed on animals blood are called sanguivores such as cattle leech etc animals that eat fruits are parrot parakeet monkey etc food crop for the growing population food is grown on a large scale a large amount of cereals grown in a season of usually 3 to 4 months is called a crop wheat rice maize pulses etc are produced in this way human and animals need cereals the grains obtained from crops are stored to be used even after the season of a specific crop so during the season within 3 to 4 months large amount of food crops are being yields so that in during the off season the cereal or the products of the plants can be used as food food chain a grasshopper eat a green plant a frog eats a grasshopper the frog is eaten by a snake and the snake is eaten by an eagle this chain of event is called a food chain who eats what in the environment makes up the food chain the study of food chain shows us the independence of various organism in the environment in a grassland the following food chain operates now you see 
this is grass grass are eaten by zebra zebras are eaten up by lion so this is also a call food chain food chain again as it is discussed on your book uh, these are the green plant these are the green plants green plants are this is the grasshopper grasshopper is eaten up by the grass, grasshopper lives on the grass and the grasshopper is eaten by a frog A frog. Frog. The frog is eaten up by snake. This is snake. And snake is eaten up by an eagle. Eagle, snack, frog, grasshopper, grasshopper, this is grass. This is also called a food sink. Food chain. On grass, the grasshopper lives. The grasshopper are eaten by frogs. Huh. Frogs are eaten by snake, and the snake is eaten by eagle. If grass are not there, then grasshopper cannot survive. If grasshopper are not there in the uh, environment, frog will reduce. If there is no frog, snake cannot survive and the snake, if it is not available in the environment, the eagle will die out. So, in the food chain, all the individuals, all the species are, depends on other, each other, depends on other. So, I almost Cover the chapter now. Now, my dear students, open page number 12. Here, some questions are given. If you can answer them, it will indicate that you have understood the lesson. Question number A Tick the correct answer. Which of the following are main sources of food? Four options are given. Number A, pulses and eggs, vegetables and meat, fruits and chicken, D, animals and plants. The answer is animals and plants. Question number two, which of the following parts of the plants are eaten by us? Option are given fruits, flowers, roots, all of these. The answer is all of these. Ginger is the following parts of the plants. Option are root, flower, stem, fruits. The answer is stem. Which of the following food product is taken from animal? Milk, apple, wheat, pulses. Answer is milk. Which of these is obtained from plants? Egg, honey, curd, rice. Answer is rice. Question 5. Which of these is obtained from plants? Egg, curd, honey, rice. The answer is Option number D, rice. Question number 6. Which of the following animal is called herbivores? A, rabbit, B, dog, 
she tiger d none of these answer is rabbit option number 1 a option number a uh, question number 7 which of the following animals is called carnivores option are lion tiger goat and in the option d it is given both a and b so answer is lion and tiger that means option d both a and b Question number 8. Which of the following animals is called omnivores, cockroach, dog, sparrow, all of these? The answer is option B, dog. Fill in the blanks. Question number B. 1. When we feel hungry, we eat, we eat food. When we feel hungry, we eat food. Question number 2. If we miss a meal, we feel exhausted. E X H A E U S T E D exhausted. Question number three. This consisting of bread slice, butter, omelet, corn flakes, milk, etc. Breakfast consisting of bread slices, butter, omelet, corn flakes, milk, etc. Question number four. Parts of the plant which is hidden inside the art constitutes its roots. Question number 5. Death of the plant is the link between its roots and the leaves and flowers. This is stem. Question number 6. The animals who eat only plants are called herbivores. The in question number 7. The animal who eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores. Question number 8. There is a food chain for different animals living in different environment. Question number C, true and false. Food eaten at one time is called meal. True. Question number two, food produces new cells in the body to repair the worn out or injured parts. True. Three, a food may have two or more than two materials added to it before or during cooking. Such materials are called ingredient yes it is true question number four stem take up water and food nutrients from the soil this is false flowers is the reproductive part of the plant it develops from floral buds it is true the animal that kills other animals is called predator yes it is true for the growing population food is grow grown on a small scale no, it is false. Now, take homework question number D and E. Sort and sort of question. Define the various function of food. Name the animal which gives us meal. What is apiculture? What are herbivores? What are omnivores? You can do easily. Read the chapter carefully. Definitely you can answer them. Find out the answer. And if you find any hurdles, any trouble, you make a call to your man who takes your signs. Thank you.